Hello, in this session we will talk about starting Hadoop virtual machine and testing the connection. This is Hassan Mir from zero to pro trainingcom This is a roadmap that we are following to install Hadoop on our personal computer. We have downloaded and installed virtual box software. We have downloaded the virtual machine appliance and we have imported that appliance into the virtual box software. We have also configured it and now it's time to start the virtual machine and test the connection. So let's go to step number six, start virtual machine. Now we will start the virtual machine. I have already launched the Oracle VirtualBox software and there's only one virtual machine here. So just double click on that or click on the start button. There is a Linux operating system booting up on the virtual machine. So it's gonna take some time, few minutes. Finally, you'll see a message that I'm seeing on the screen. Step number six is completed. Virtual machine is successfully started. And now it's time for step number seven to test the connection from host computer. In this step, we will try to make a connection from the host computer. We'll open up a browser and through the browser, we will call the services running within Linux operating system inside the virtual machine open up your browser and navigate to the same IP address that you saw HTTP colon slash slash 192.168.56.101 and hit enter you'll see a page saying Horton works sandbox this page is coming from the virtual machine as this is the IP address of the virtual machine and if you scroll down you're gonna see a few options the third one is what we are going to do next we're gonna start using the sandbox. In the meantime, if you're not using the system, you can go back to your virtual box and right click on your virtual machine and you can choose pause. This will pause the machine and it will release the resources for your other work. And if you want to make a connection to this virtual machine from other computers, then you must change the network from NET to bridged and the real IP address will be given to your virtual machine on the startup from the router and using that IP address you can make a connection to this virtual machine from any other computer connected to the same router and you can go even one step further you can make the IP address static for that virtual machine either through your router settings or through your virtual machines network settings so within Linux you can go into the network settings and say okay I want this static IP address so that is not in scope for uh, these sessions so just wanted to point that out